Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the Cincinnati Masters is on next week. It's a big tournament on the ATP. It's an ATP 1000 event, and it goes into the US Open. It's the last chance for a lot of these players to get form going into the last major of the year. And we've got some big names playing, but some massive names are not playing. So let's go to the withdrawal list. So a long list of withdrawals with some real big names in this one. Chorich, he's not playing. Novak Djokovic, the defending champion, he's also out. Roger Federer is not playing. Manorino's not playing. Nadal is also out injured. Nishikori, Raonic, Dominic Team, the reigning US Open champion, he's not in it. And Vavrinka is also out of this one. All right, starting at the top of the draw, and we have 16 seeds in this one, and the top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. Then I'm Medvedev, the number one seed, just had a really good week in Canada this week. He also won this tournament back in 2019. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll play an American in the second round no matter what, because we've got two wild cards going at it with Nakashima taking on McDonald, a couple of good informed players as well. Then we have Bublik versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on the winner of the Battle of the Veterans. Dimitrov takes on the number 13 seed, Batista Agu. Very fun first round matchup. Then we've got the number nine seed, Hercatch. He takes on Fakina in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the wild card, Andy Murray in the second round. So Murray, he's back in action. Then we've got Milman versus Struff. Winner of that match takes on the number seven seed, Carino Busta, in the second round. So the players we're watching out for, Medvedev made the semifinals of Canada this week, so he's in some good form. Also won this title, as I said, a couple of years ago, so he loves playing here. Also keeping an eye on Carino Busta, the bronze medalist at the Olympics. Let's see how he can back that up. And also Hubi Hercatch, Miami Open champion. Very unlucky this week not to beat Medvedev in Canada, so got to keep an eye on him. He might be able to sneak through this part of the draw and maybe get some revenge over Medvedev in the quarterfinals. Second quarter of the draw now, and we have the number four seed, Rublev. He gets a bye in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Karatsev versus Chilich, which is a very intriguing matchup. Circle that one as one to watch because Chilich, Grand Slam champion, Karatsev having a great 2021. Interested to see how they play against each other. Then we got Lyabich versus Monfils. Winner of that match takes on either Krajanovic or the number 14 seed Dimonor in the second round. Then we got the number 11 seed Sinner taking on Del Bonis. Winner of that match takes on either Isna or Nori in the second round. And John Isna just made the semifinals of Canada last week, so he's in great form as well. Keep an eye on him. We've got Kecminovic versus Pear. Winner of that match takes on the number six seed Shapovalov. The players I'm watching out for in this one, Rublev. Didn't have a great week last week. Actually got upset by Isna in Canada, so interested to see how he he rebounds, beat Federer in Cincinnati a couple of years ago, so he does have fond memories at this venue. Also, Shapovalov, very disappointing week last week, so let's see how he can rebound this week in Cincinnati. And also keep an eye on John Isner. Like I said, played very well in Canada last week, causing a couple of upsets along the way. So keep an eye on him in this part of the draw. Very dangerous, unseated player, and he loves playing on the hard courts in America, so definitely got to keep an eye on Isner. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number eight seed. Kasper Rudd had a pretty decent week last week in Toronto. He gets a buy in the first round. He awaits the winner of Opelka versus a qualifier. And of course, Opelka getting to the semifinals of Canada last week. He's in good form too. So very interesting matchup. Rudd versus Opelka if it happens in the second round. Then we've got TFO, the wild card versus Umber. Winner of that match takes on either Evans or the number 10 seed Schwartzman in the second round. Then we've got the number 15 seed Goffin taking on Pella. Winner of that match takes on either Fanini or Basilashvili in the second round. Then we've got the qualifier versus Harris. Winner of that match takes on the number three seed, Alexander Zverev. First time we're seeing Zverev since the Olympics. So, of course, we're going to be watching out for him this week. Alexander Zverev, the gold medalist at the Olympics. Also, Kasper Rudd. Interested to see how he can convert the game that he has on clay, the very effective game, onto the hard courts. Did okay last week. Making the quarterfinals of Canada. Lost to Sydney pass in the end, so not a terrible loss. So interested to see if he can continue converting his game onto hard courts. And also Riley Opelka. Got to watch out for him. Made the Canadian semifinals last week with some big wins over guys like Kyrgios and Dimitrov. So got to watch out for him as a dangerous unseated player in this part of the draw. And going to the bottom quarter of the draw now, we've got the number five seed, Berrettini. Haven't seen him for a long time. He gets a bye in the first round. He awaits the winner of Fritz versus Ramos Vinoles, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Hashinov. Winner of that match takes on either Fucevic or the number 12 seed Oje Aliasim in the second round. Then we've got the number 16 seed Garen taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Sonigo or another qualifier in this part of the draw. Then we've got Korda versus Jera. Winner of that match takes on the number two seed, Stefanos Sidzipas. So players we're watching out for, obviously the big seeds. Gotta watch out for Sidzipas. Had a really good week in Canada last week. 
Seems to be doing really well on the hard courts this year as well. Remember, made the semi-finals of the Australian Open earlier this year, so got to keep an eye out for Steph. And also Berrettini. Haven't seen him since Wimbledon, so didn't play the Olympics. Had a couple of months off, or a couple of weeks off, so we should keep an eye on him this week. See how he can play on the hard courts. Made the semi-finals of the US Open a couple of years ago, so we know he can play on them. And also Hashinov, the silver medalist of the Olympics. He lost the Sydney pass in the end last week, so very unlucky with his draw, as he has been this week. But let's see if he can actually make a bit of a run going into the US Open, because, of course, made final of the Olympics, got the silver medal in the end. So let's keep an eye on him this week and see what he can do in Cincinnati. So there it is, the Cincinnati Masters for the ATP. It's an ATP 1000 event. We don't have the defending champion Djokovic playing. We don't even have the defending finalist Milos Raonic playing. A few of the goats are out as well. It's a very bare tournament to what it used to be with a lot of those great players not playing this event. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this one? It's going to be interesting because Medvedev is the pseudo-defending champion after you know winning it two years ago and Djokovic not playing this year. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win? Because it could be anyone's game. All right, so having a look at the draw, very interesting to see how this one actually plays out because... Like I said, anybody could really win this one. But I'm going to go with Alexander Zverev. I reckon Zverev can get the win here in Cincinnati. He's in great form, great confidence, beating Djokovic at the Olympics, got the gold medal, and has a really good draw as well. Not too many difficult opponents in his part of the draw. So I am going to go with Zverev to win this one and back up that Olympic gold medal that he got a couple of weeks ago. Again, let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this event. So the last chance for a lot of these players to get some warm-up form going into the fourth major of the year, the US Open.